The flourishing SME segment in the country has never been more empowering in the new normal as we break through with resilience and grit to recover and adapt to digitalization through the entrepreneurial spirit. In a time when community centers, home-based businesses, and aspiring local entrepreneurs are responding to the daily needs of Filipinos today, data connectivity has never been more significant for everyday living. Converge Business SME Services is at the forefront of this breakthrough. From the humble beginnings of Dennis Uwe, Converge Business aims to serve the underserved, believing that we can grow our own small businesses, that we are all SMEs. Making Converge Business as your primary source can boost your advantage and growth. With its world-class fiber optic network, Micro entrepreneurs gain more advantage in the current digital arena with robust technology that can seize opportunities to go all digital. Entrepreneurs humbly begin with a vision to grow and expand through their passion and determination. In the competitive business landscape, small to medium enterprises need to adapt services and products to reach more Filipinos here and around the world. As a primary provider, Converge is a world-class ICT company with the most resilient and superior fiber optic service in the Philippines that continues to delight millions of its users in the consumer space, serving a growing number of business clients in the SME, enterprise, and wholesale segment. Converge Business is for SMEs, providing a partnership that offers subscription models that allow businesses more options and flexibility. It is your own gateway to the world, a partner to springboard your success. Leveraging on our strong network architecture, Converge Business can provide impactful broadband solutions to your business. With Converge Business SME services, equip your business with the right tool to jumpstart your progress to the next level. We leverage on innovative technologies to bring you what matters. Results. It is time to be in control. Converge Business SME services. Results mean progress. But I can't sleep mad when you walk back back home You know, the Filipino entrepreneur is innovative, you know, that's one, you know, and they are very creative also. That's our things, you know, and not just on that, they are really think out of the box. You are innovative guy, you know, you deep thinkers. So when the pandemic hit us, this SME, if they have fast thinker, fast innovate and fast transform went to digital there's a lot of opportunity when you have the basic requirement to transform in the digital during this pandemic is the digital highway which is lucky enough this is my business and we built this digital highway for the transform of this assemblies You know, I think this is sort of like a uh, survival. Eh? No? Well, when you start in uh, hardship, in uh, you grow up with a hardship. No? During my young, younger age, hindi ko na tigman yung tipong you have this uh, good opportunity to play with your classmates. Whatever spare of time I have, I want to maximize my time. When I start, I start really small. No? This is really uh, SME type. My technical, I have employee number one still with me. I'm the one driving and climbing the pole to lay down these wires. I seen the technology roadmap. Start with the dial-up days. I'm in the computer. And 
innovation of cable internet, innovation of fiber. So now in the cloud. So you can see the whole landscape. Without this fiber technology, this new digital highway we built, you cannot that have quality of connection. Digital uh, broadband, digital uh, communication nowadays is very essential. And if you notice, even your rich or your poor, you know, they need a stable, high-speed and quality connection. Right ng tao na meron access ng high quality of broadband. When there's a crisis, there's always have opportunity. So the pandemic hit us. This is a crisis the whole world. So that's why important you are really ready for your infrastructure. We found our service become a lifeline of the individual because of you need to have a quality and stable connection. And good thing during this pandemic, we put more resources. This should be a right to aid individual usage, you know, regardless of uh, what business you have, big or small. But if you ask me to advise SME how they can be successful in the business, number one, you need to have a passion in, uh, in your business. Number two, you need to have a deep knowledgeable on your line of business. Don't come to the business you don't understand. They just tell you what kind of business is a problem. There is no such thing successful. You just follow someone. We link the whole uh, country and this underserved and unserved area, uh, we make sure uh, by uh, 2023 or 2024, we will reach them. We will give them a digital highway. The digital highway, we ask them to connect to the whole, not just on the Philippines, the whole world. This is the digital highway virtually. You can see, you can bring your business in virtual world. So that's the key role of the Converge Now.
Let's talk Lexi business. I'm Addie and I will be your host for today's very special event. Now, before we start with our program, I would like to remind everyone present in the Zoom to please rename yourselves in Zoom to your registered full names so we can identify you. If any assistance is needed, you may chat with any of our co-hosts in the Zoom or simply type your questions in the chat box. Now, if everyone is settled, let's begin. Magandang hapon ulit sa inyong lahat. Sana ay nakakain na kayo ng lunch nyo. Sana nag-enjoy kayo sa inyong break. And of course, I can see here that we have a lot of guests today. So of course, we want to get to know you, di ba? So let us know in the chat box kung taga saan kayo. And ala, gusto din namin malaman kung ano yung, ano yung popular or ano, ano yung, kung saan kilala yung inyong lugar. Okay, so sample, magsasample ako, okay? So ako, tagapasig ako, and of course, alam na alam ng lahat na ang guwapo-guwapo ng mayor namin. O, di ba? <laughs> Ayan, so yan po yung ating sample. So let us know in the chat box, okay? Ayan, let us know in the chat box kung taga saan kayo and kung saan kilala or sikat ang lugar ninyo. Ayan, yun yung gustong gusto talaga namin malaman because of course we want to get to know you we want to know saan ba kayo galing ano ba yung popular dyan sa lugar nyo diba or if gusto nyo magpa shout out pwedeng pwede rin kayo magpa shout out okay so just let us know sa ating chat box okay once again kung saan kayo galing anong lugar and of course ano yung popular sa inyong lugar pwedeng pagkain pwedeng tao diba pwedeng kahit ano ano ba yung favorite places nyo dyan sa, sa lugar nyo and of course nag pwede rin kayo magpa-shoutout. So, just let us know in the chat box. Ayan. So, as I I can see na madami po tayong kasamang guests today. Don't be shy. Ayan. Hello to Dexter Kuzon. Sabi niya, Pasig City Best Mayor Vico Soto. Oo, totoong totoo. Ayan. Same mayor tayo. Guwapo rin siya, di ba? <laughs> so, we also have Edgardo Gazzo Jr. Hi, Edgardo. 
Oh, sabi niya, Mark Kevin the Joseph, Seafood Capital of the Philippines. Wow! Gusto ko pumunta dyan, ha? Nag-sleep ako ng seafood sa hapon pa. Hello also to Active Asia. Oh, from Antipolo City. Hello! Hello also to Andres Podog. I'm from Lukban, Quezon, summer capital of Quezon Province and known for the Pahiyas Festival. Uy, ang saya niyan. Parang gusto ko pumunta sa Pahiyas Festival. Hello also to Lito Mateo. Ay, nawala yung chat. Ay, ang sabi na yung chat. Sorry, nawala na siya. So, hello to... Nasaan na ako? <laughs> Hello to Lito Mateo from Basil to Bly Benguet. Guwapo ang mayor namin. Aba, pareho tayo. Guwapo ang mayor natin. Hello also to Leonora. Shout out to Ryan Braceros. I hello to Ryan. And hello also to Arnold Cabrera. So, in Region 1, I'm from Pangasinan. Famous in Bangus Festival and Bagoong. Ay, ang sarap naman. Bakit puro pagkain? Hindi ko kahit sinasabi nyo. Nagugutom tuloy ako kahit nag-lunch na tayong lahat. Hello also to Hannah. So, we have Hannah Elise from Oriental Mandoro. So, sabi niya, Mangyan Halcon, Tamaraw. <laughs> Nauhan Lake and Puerto Galera. Wow! So, gusto ko pumunta sa Puerto Galera. Ang ganda-ganda dyan. Ang ganda-ganda dyan. Hello also to Bruce Driver. Puerto Galera, Heart of Asia, Mindoro. Yes, tamang-tama yun. Ang ganda talaga doon. Hello also to the afternoon watching from Cagayan de Oro, City of Golden Friendship. Ay, hindi ko yun alam man na Golden Friendship pala si CBO. Hello also to Joel. Hi, hi to you too. We also have from... We also have Carlo James Sumaya, uh, Tuna Capital of the Philippines, and also Pambansa Kamao. Ay, Manny Pacquiao ay galing pala siya dyan. Yes, dun pala siya lumaki. Hello also to Geronimo from Bohol, the known province of Panglao, White Sand Beaches and Chocolate Hills. Ay, Geronimo, ang ganda-ganda naman sa Bohol. Mag-visit ako dyan next week. <laughs> Hello also to Jonas Allen. Um, province of Sorsogon, Municipality of Santa Magdalena, Barangay San Sebastian. So, more tourist attractions here. Yes, Sorsogon. So, nandiyan rin si Hart. <laughs> Hello to Rachel. Sabi niya, Pampaga. So, yeah. Ang pwede daming festival, no? Parang lahat tayo, depende sa city natin, meron tayong sarili festival, di ba? Hello from, this is Active Asia, Joanne. Hi from Cavite, the land of the brave. Ay, so one break ka pa talaga. <laughs> Hello also to Mark Oscar from Bulan, Sorsogon, Sardines Exporter. Ay, talaga. Ang sarap naman ang ano, matina-export mo. We also have Manilin Maras from Tagaytay City, Bulalo Capital. Ay, tamang-tama yan. Ang sarap talaga kumain ng Bulalo sa Tagaytay. Isang lamig-lamig talaga. Sabi ni Jose Vicente, Hello ma'am, shout out from City of Palms. Tagum City. Hi! Hi to you, Jose. Hello also to Giovanni Bison from Pampanga. Lugar ng mga guwapo at magaganda. Aba! Paano talaga? Totoo ba to? <laughs> okay, hello also to Myra from Tai Tai Rizal. Garments capital of the Philippines. Changge! Yes! Sarang mag-shopping dyan. Hello also to Carl Braun, watching from Bicol, Albay, and to Michael Castro from Nueva Ecija. Ay, pastillas. Grabe, ang sasarap naman ng mga, <laughs> ng mga ano. Okay, so hello. So thank you so much sa lahat na nag-active nyo today. Nakakatuwa talaga. So thank you so much to everyone for your wonderful answers. You know, if you have noticed, every one of us has their own answers what is popular in your community. Diba? For some, sa Vinas, yung iba naman, magalang, magaling mayor nila. Diba? Yung iba naman, diba? Every different city email lang para festival, diba? So, wherever you're from, there's really something very special there and we really appreciate that you are sharing it with us today. And of course, what is common among all of these is that it is not fixed. There will always be something new that emerges. New trends that develop as time marches on as they say. Now, in our third year into the pandemic, trends and businesses now mainly occur on online platforms and focus on the use of digital technology such as this. Now, because this is the easiest way for people to give and receive information now and at the same time, it also makes their life simpler. 
Businesses today must now learn to adapt to these changes and know how to stay one step ahead of the trends and the competition. That is why today we are going to know more about understanding trend spotting techniques and meta search engine optimization. And for today, our topic is about hashtag guide in using meta search engine to improve your hotel or resto biz. And of course, we are also going to have a raffle draw where we will be giving away lots of prizes. So we will be giving away 1,000 worth of GCs each to four lucky winners. Isn't that exciting? And on top of that, we will be giving away a major prize of 5,000 worth of GCs to one lucky winner of us. Sino kaya yung mananalo? Kaya abangan nyo yan mamaya. We also have a feedback form that we encourage everyone to answer in the latter part of the program. So those who will fill out this form will get the chance to win 1,000 worth of cheese. Don't, don't forget that substance is key, okay? Only feedback with substance are qualified for this giveaway. So don't forget to put some thought in the into the form when you submit it at the end of the program. And of course, I'll just give you guys some tips because I'm sure na sure ako na gusto niyo manalo na 1,000 worth of EBC. So if you would like to win the 1,000 worth of EBCs, make sure na malaman laman naman yung feedback niyo. Because of course, we want to know your insight, your feedback, ano ba yung mga comments niyo. We want to know all of it. All right. So just make sure na ilagay nyo lahat sa ating feedback form para may chance po kayo manalo ng 1,000 worth of VCs. Okay, and of course, kung na-notice nyo, we are actually giving away a lot of prizes today, okay? It is a total of 10,000 worth of prizes. Yan po yung, mibigay, yun po yung mga pipapamigay natin today and we are so, so very excited. So don't forget to stick around and don't forget to like and follow our Facebook page that's Converge for SME for more business tips and updates. And now to officially welcome all of you, let's give a virtual round of applause to the National Sales Director for SME, Mr. Eldridge Frederick Blue Aldridge. <clears throat> so happy to welcome everyone today for our second leg of uh, Let's Talk Flexibility. So I'd just like to say hello to Adi for such a great start and for signing up for the second leg 2022 FlexiBiz series. So I'd like to welcome everyone and say hello um, to this round of educational series. So we are represented nationwide and this is in part of the commitment of Converge to equip business owners nationwide with the latest technological trends. So we're not just about providing you with the most economical, most technologically advanced internet connection for your business, but we'd want to be part of your journey towards growth and success and prosperity. So I won't take much of your time, but um, it's been asked to me several times, is bakit mabilis ang converge? Bakit iba ang converge as compared to other providers? So... Simple lang naman yung sagot ko sa inyo eh. We do one thing well. Okay? And what we do is that we provide the best fiber connection to homes and businesses nationwide. We have no other distractions. We have no wireless networks. We have no voice solutions. It's just simply put, stable, fast, and reliable fiber internet. So... Um, before I close, we are talking to hotel owners, to hospitality owners right now for this session. And I hope you are on board with the influx of revenge spending from consumers. What this means is that after two years of people not going on a holiday, not eating out, ngayon yung pagkakataon. And katulad ko, nung magbabakasyon kami dapat ng pamilya ko, una, napakahirap mag-book kasi alam ko, karamihan ng mga Pilipino ngayon, atat na atat magbakasyon. But kasama rin, nung naghahanap ako ng lugar na matutuluyan, ang tinanong ko, ano ba ang internet mo? Maganda ba yung internet mo? 
Kasi alam ko yung mga anak ko gagamit ng tablet. Mag-YouTube. Ako, kailangan ko ng magandang internet para sa mga Zoom calls, Skype na sa bakasyonan. At ganun na po yung labanan. Eh. Kaya one thing very important is that you take a look at your current internet provider and ask them, fiber na ba ito? At kung fiber, ilang Mbps po ito? Because that's a game changer right now. People will make decisions based on the type of internet that you have. So kung mahina ang internet mo, nilipat ako sa iba. Kasi kailangan siguradong maganda yung internet sa tutulungan ko. Okay, so please do that and I'm happy to let you know that we have a very good speaker who can equip you with the search engine tools that is needed when you promote your business online. And aside from that, that's not all. We have a lot of prices. Stay tuned. We have free installation if you sign up in the next few days after attending this session. And that's not all. We have a raffle. Um, and of course, enjoy the moderation uh, by the very professional and very capable Miss Addy. So that's it for me. Uh, have a pleasant, pleasant good afternoon for this session of Let's Talk Flexibles. Thank you. much sir Blue, for that kind and insightful introduction you know i'm sure that all of you know the perks of having converge diba? and of course for me personally converge has really made my life easier to transition to this new digital age bahay, converge kami. and of course ang bilis bilis ng wifi namin hindi siya nawawala and even in my restaurant converge yung ginagamit namin and it is so convenient kasi lahat ng nag-order sa Facebook or nag-online orders lahat ng delivery kami everything is easy and fast and that is all because we have a very very reliable internet alright okay so now it is time for us to let you get to know converge flexibles Introducing Converge FlexiBiz. Be in control with your daily connection needs for maximum productivity. With its time of day technology, you can boost your connectivity when you need it the most. Customize your connection's performance to fit your business needs. Have it at an all time peak or adjust speeds during hours of the day, whatever your business needs to support. Enjoy value for your money with a budget friendly. Reliable and flexible package made for you. No data cap. Stream on pure fiber connection that you deserve. This is perfect to manage our costs, especially if business is picking up. Another thing that this pandemic has become an advantage on our end is it accelerated the need for this technology. This is the kind of customized service that could turn trying times into thriving ones. It is a worthy investment because it is made for us, for you. Converge FlexiBiz. It's time to take control. Contact us to know more. was a very informative video but now it is time to learn how and what you can do to help your business thrive by spotting the trends and optimizing your meta search engine that's why i won't keep you waiting any longer to provide us with the knowledge and power about trend spotting and meta search engines let us welcome our special guest digital marketing executive mr neil dimaki Hey guys, welcome to SEO 101 and this is Maximizing Your Business in the Digital Era. 
So again, thank you for having me as one of your key resource speaker. And thank you for that very wonderful introduction. So for today's agenda, meron lang naman tayong apat. So that's what's SEO, is SEO important, and how can SEO help your business? And the last part is just a summary and app, an application for you guys on how you can apply SEO for your business. So again, just a quick introduction. I'm Neil Dimapilis, and currently, I'm the digital marketing executive at Warner Music Philippines for domestic artists. So I'm also the community founder of one of the largest, fastest growing social media centric communities here in the country. And that's called Social Media Marketing Philippines. So if you want to outsource your social media marketing efforts, feel free to join my Facebook group. And lastly, I'm also the podcast host at 5 Minute Social Media Tips with Neil on Spotify. So if you want to learn more about social media marketing with just a span of 5 minutes, pasensya na po minsan uh, lumalagpas ng 10 minutes yung episode ko, feel free to follow and check out my podcast show on Spotify. So just a quick icebreaker, and this is something uh, that we have to do or we can do before we start. So just to break the ice. Right? So here are just some of the things that I want to ask you or just some recommendations to just break the ice para lang hindi tayo awkward. Right? So what was the last thing that you purchased online? And be it uh, being this is a digital marketing webinar. Right? Ako personally, yung huling binili ko online is a car cover yung cover sa sasakyan kasi I recently purchased a car. Uh, what's your breakfast earlier? Ako naman, ang breakfast ko earlier was sinangag, hotdog, saka itlog. Diba? It's your, yun yung pinakamadaling lutuin na ano, uh, staple Filipino breakfast maliban sa champorado at saka sa tuyo. What's the most challenging thing that you've done in your life? For me, yung pinaka-challenging thing na ginawa ko in my life was nagtulak kami ng best friend ko ng sasakyan niya for at I think around 9 kilometers kasi tumirik yung sasakyan niya. And what's your favorite dessert? Uh, my favorite dessert is chocolate ice cream. So yeah, again, thank you for your comments. Thank you for your messages. I see your comments down here. So let's get right into it. So let's begin. So for sure, you're already, lahat naman kayo ang pinuntan nyo dito is how your business <clears throat> can improve more about on digital marketing. Again, thank you. Thank you guys for inviting me as your resource, resource speaker for today. So, what is SEO? Ano nga ba ang SEO or search engine optimization? Search engine optimization is the act of wanting your business website to be on top of Google search engine results pages or SERPs. So, pag sinabi natin ganun, yung mga lumalabas sa Google, so for example, nag-search tayo ng isang keyword or nag-search tayo ng kahit anong itype natin doon, Yung mga lumalabas doon, hindi siya nandun for a random reason. Hindi siya lumalabas doon kasi trip lang ni Google na yun yung mga ipakita sa inyo. No. Those are there for a reason. Nandun yun because of uh, relevancy to, the, uh, to, to your search query. They are the most authoritative website or they have the most authoritative website for the keyword that you searched for or they are relevant. Diba? So, in, in simple terms, it means it's the process of improving your website to increase its visibility when people are searching for your product, for your service that's related to your business. And that's on search engine. So uh, here in the Philippines, the number one search engine that's being used is Google. So the better visibility for your pages that you have in search results, the more likely you are to garner attention and attract prospective and existing customers for your business. Kasi, aminin man natin o hindi, minsan pag nagsusearch tayo, hindi na tayo lumalabas or nag-next pa sa next page to the page 2, page 3, page 4. Kasi, satisfied na tayo usually sa mga nakikita natin on the search results on page 1. So, if your business or if your website, if you have a website and it's not on page 1, then you are missing out. So ngayon, kailangan ko ba talaga ng search engine optimization? Kailangan, importante ba talaga yan? Kailangan ba ng negosyo ko yan? So there are currently 5.6 billion searches or people searching on Google every day. And this is worldwide. Worldwide to. So can you confidently say sa kahit sabihin natin yung chunk lang sa Pilipinas? Is your website visible to the right people that needs to see your product, that needs to see your service, 
that needs to see your business, diba? be it your hotel, be it your small business, your restaurant, are you being seen by the right people? When people are searching for, let's say, that's related to food and beverage or uh, related to lodging, is your website being visible to those searchers? So for every click that happens that that's not within your website or not your website, that's already considered a lost lead for you. Kasi mas consider nilang mag-click na lang dun sa website ng competitors nyo. And is it important? Yes. When people search for inquiries, keywords, phrases, or kahit anumang isusearch natin online related to business, you, being on top of the lists, show authority over your competitors. Kasi makikita, no, ma kahit na may internal lang to na bragging rights na alam nyo na, uy, kalaban namin yan, pero mas ahead kami sa listing. That's, that shows authority. That shows na mas pinag e nyo yung digital marketing nyo. Here are just some of the examples. So when you search for best restaurants in Manila or best hotels in Manila, you would see and TripAdvisor, Guide to the Philippines. And these are review websites. These are websites who just post uh, articles, yung mga 10 best restaurants, 10 best hotels, ganyan, ganyan. That they should not be the ones ranking for these keywords or search queries. It should be you guys, yung mismong hotels, yung mismong restaurants, the mismong business. Kasi kayo dapat yung authoritative dito. Again, and on the other hand, kailangan goal nyo din na masama kayo sa mga articles nito. So how can SEO help your business? Search engine optimization, baka kasi mamaya akala nyo, lahat yan, importante lang, basta mapunta tayo sa taas. Hindi lang po yun yung mahalaga when it comes to search engine optimization. SEO also allows you to build brand value as brand value builds. So for example, you started your website nung lumabas kayo, nung hindi pa kayo nag apply ng SEO, nasa let's say sabihin natin pang 10th page kayo ni Google. As you go up in the pages, as you go up in the ranks, you build brand value. Makikita nyo as the more you escalate, the more people are noticing your website, your business. So that's going to be easy for more opportunities to gain for customers and for your target market. So what are the ways you can maximize SEO for your business? So there are four. So that's off-site, which is ito yung mangyayari externally your, on your website. Next is on-site SEO, and this is internal. Content optimization, this is the content that you put out within your website. And UI UX is how your user interface of website and how your customer's user experiences are. So for off-site SEO, this refers to the actions taken outside of your own website to impact your rankings within search engine results or SERPs. Along with on-page SEO, these are both hand-in-hand -hand factors na hindi pwedeng mawala yung isa over the other. These include several of the factors of basic SEO that helps a site to rank. So if you want to learn more about off-site SEO, you can search about this online, you can search about this on Google, and there are more there are a lot of resources out there if you want to learn more about off-site SEO. So optimizing for off-site ranking factors involve improving search engines, your user perception of a site, kung ano ba yung tingin nila sa website nyo, popularity ng website nyo, the content relevancy, the trustworthiness, baka naman kasi mamaya akala ng mga tao nang sa scam lang kayo pag nakita nila yung website nyo, and the authority of your brand. This is accomplished by other reputable places on the internet. So nandiyan yung ibang web pages, nandiyan yung ibang websites, people, people involved within the business. So linking to or promoting your website and effectively vouching for the quality of your content. So ano ba yung last part na yun, yung linking to or promoting to your website? So one thing that you could do is link from one website going to your website. So, pag nakakita kayo ng mga blog articles, di ba usually merong mga blog comment section sa babayan. That's one way you can link your website to another. You can just leave your website link on the comment section but not make it look spammy. And that's one of the things that you can do when it comes to off-site SEO and many, many more. Next is on-site SEO. On-page SEO or on-site SEO is the practice 
of optimizing individual web pages in order to rank higher. So for example, meron po kayong website, diba? hindi lang naman po iisang web page yan. Madaming web pages yan, madaming landing pages yan. So every web page or every landing page should have optimized web pages or dapat lahat yan optimized yan. So on page refers to the both content, kung ano yung nilalaman po ng web page, no? and HTML source code, so which is on the back end side. That can be optimized as opposed to off-page SEO, which refers to external things. So when on page when 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 you say on-site or on-page SEO, this involves everything that happens within your website. Even pagdating po sa pag-code po ng website nyo, kung mag-code kayo ng website. So here are just some of the things that you could use as a checklist. So are your meta descriptions optimized with your desired keywords? Diba? Okay ba yung mga meta descriptions nyo? May meta descriptions ba yung mga, yung mga web page at landing pages nyo? Are your title tags updated? Or may title tags din ba yung mga web pages nyo? Yun yung mga, yun yung mga pinaka-importante. Nakakapaglagay ba kayo ng title tags and meta disks? So are your web pages linked internally? Isa din to sa mga mahalagang bagay kasi Google needs to see that all your web pages are linked internally and magkakadikit sila. That shows Google na this belongs to one entity and this and all this is just ranking for this certain type of keyword. Next is content optimization. Content optimization is just the process of making sure the content writing is in a way to the point na you can reach your largest target, uh, largest target audience. So when it comes to content optimization, you're not just writing content for the sake of writing content. So hindi ka lang naglalabas ng meta descriptions, hindi ka lang naglalabas ng keywords, hindi ka gagamit ng title tags for the sake of masabi mong meron ka. But we are doing or we are optimizing content. We are putting out content for relevancy, trustworthiness, authoritativeness because we want people to read content that's relevant to them. We want to show that we are the authority in this industry and we want to show them that they can trust the content that we put out. So just some, some of the checklists that you can do is, are you writing relevant articles? Di ba napapanahon ba yung nilalabas yung articles para sa negosyo nyo? Are your articles equipped with the keywords that you want to be visible for? Sorry. And always write for people because at the end of the day, kung hindi naman tayo magsusulat para sa mga taong naghahanap ng mga bagay or kasagutan para sa mga sagot nila, di ba? so what's the point of putting out content at the end of the day? So always write for people. What do what what are the things that they need to know about your business? The things that they need, uh, they should do. Paano ba nila kayo mahanap? Those types of content, very informative and educational content. And lastly, is UI and UX. So SEO is the medium to drive traffic, while UI and UX creates the first impression. Kasi pagka click nila sa uh, pagka-click nila sa search query, pagkapasok nila sa website nyo, yun agad yung makikita nila. What is your user interface and what is your user experience? Both work in tandem to ultimately serves a user's intent and hence conversions on the website. So driving more leads, convert, converting more people to being customers than just a cold lead. So this is a bit of the creative effort. So if you're planning to outsource efforts when it comes to establishing your UI and your UX for your website, that would be very helpful because this boosts conversions for you as a business. And at the end of the day, kahit anong business pa yan, conversions ang mahalaga para sa atin. So just some of the things, bakit mahalaga ang UI and UX? So slower loading websites tend to have high bounce rate. So bounce rate means these are people na hindi nila nakita kung ano yung gusto nila or masyadong mabagal yung website nyo so lumabas kagad sila ng website. People exiting your website, yun yung tawag sa bounce rate. So can your website be navigated easily? Pag may hinahanap ba ako sa website nyo, makikita ko ba kagad siya? Malalaman ko ba kagad, ah okay dito, may takeout menu sila dito. Ah okay, madali mag-book dito kasi nakikita ko kagad. Having a good website experience for people can help boost your website rankings because when people are having good experiences with your website, they would be returning customers. Babalik at babalik sila because they already have good 
user experience within your website. So just some of the applications that you can use. So for sure, you have to focus on your business. But there are two ways that you can go with this. Is that's hiring an in-house specialist or outsourcing your SEO efforts within uh, with an agency. So with hiring an in-house specialist, he or she will be focused on your business alone. Cheaper cost because you're only just paying for one person and faster communication because that person is going to be in-house. For, uh, for outsourcing an agency, naman, manpower allocation yung magbibigay nila sa'yo because they can be the ones to write, for, to write your articles. Sila na din yung magdi-design ng website nyo. They'll be the ones to code your website. And they'll be the one to push your digital marketing or your SEO efforts as well or kung ano man yung digital marketing needs nyo. Because next is they have experience in the industry. More, more often than not, when you're going to hire an in-house specialist, usually mga ganyan, yan yung mga nanggaling with freelancing experience na. But when you're hiring an agency, these are people that's been within the industry for X, X amount of years na. And lastly, it's premium service because they have a reputation to uphold. So nandyan, nandyan nakasalala yun. So makikita nyo at mararamdaman nyo that you are being treated nicely as well. So again, search engine optimization is such a powerful thing that businesses should utilize and maximize. Tatandaan po natin yun. Kasi now that everyone is searching, everyone is on their phones, especially in the digital era, and mas lalo na nung nag-start yung pandemic, everyone is online. Sobra. As in, sobrang dami ng taong online ngayon. Diba? On their phones, on their computers, on their laptops, searching, scrolling. So if your business is not being is not being seen or is not being visible, then you are losing clients. So if you're interested to do SEO or search engine optimization, feel free to reach out to me. Uh, I, I, I do have some recommendations on who are the, let's say, if you want to hire uh, an in-house specialist or if you want to hire an, 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 a digital marketing agency, I do have some recommendations for you guys. So again, uh, if you want to reach out to me, I'm Neil Dimapilis on Facebook and Instagram. It's on Spotify. It's 5-Minute Social Media Tips with Neil. And the Facebook group is called Social Media Marketing Philippines. And again, thank you for joining us today. I'm Neil Dimapilis. Thank you. Thank you so much, Neil, for that very informative talk. You know, I think it's really great that Neil not only explained the benefits of SEO in terms of brand awareness and also in terms of lead generation, but he also emphasized that it's also very important for you to create a really great experience for your new customers. So I feel like, you know, you not only have to focus on maximizing SEO and how you can utilize this for your business, but it's also very important that once you actually get the lead, once you actually get the lead, you have to make sure that the experience of the customer from start to end is also really great so that they will become a repeat customer for you as well. All right. So now that you have heard from Neil, it is time for us to stretch our backs and relax with a game. All right. So this game is called Four Picks, One Word. Okay. It's a very easy game. Don't worry. So here are the mechanics. So I will be showing you four pictures that all share a common word. So the goal is to find the common word based on the number of blank letters provided at the beginning of the game. So the word length will also be shown under the four pictures and the first person to guess the word in the chat box wins the prize. All right? So paunahan to, if you are the first one to put in the correct word, you will win our prize. And the correct word will be displayed once someone gets it right. Okay? Here's a little hint. Some of the words are related to converge or relevant to the topic of this event. Now for the prizes, we will be giving away three 500 pesos worth of Lazada vouchers. Wow, we found shopping na kayo. All right, so if everyone is clear with the rules, let us start with the game, okay? Let me know in the chat box if we're ready na kayo para mag-start na tayo, okay? It's a very, very easy game. I'm sure you are all going to enjoy. Again, we have Edgardo, Jose, ready, ready na. Okay, let's go. Let's start with the first set of pictures. 
Okay, wow, daming ready. There you go. So all four pictures. Yeah, so all four pictures have one word in common. And yung sagot. There you go. Okay, we actually have a winner. Okay. All right. Wow, so many people answering. Okay, so let us see. Let me just ask the judges who our official winner is. Roji Ron, you are our winner. Congratulations. Okay, and the answer is Flexibiz. Ayan, ang dali-dali naman ito. Yes, Flexibiz is the answer. So congratulations to Roger Ron. You are the winner. Ayan, you just won 500 pesos worth of Lazada vouchers. But don't worry everyone, may chance pa kayo. Let us bring out the next set of pictures. Ayan, so don't forget, the first one to get the word gets the prize. Okay, so here are the four pictures. Pictures and four letter word po siya. Ayan. So, ano kaya yung sagot? Okay. First one to answer. Go. Mag-type na kayo. What do you think is the answer? Okay. Let's see. <laughs> there we go. We actually have a winner. Congratulations to the line. Go. Alright, let us reveal. Then you for you sagot. Congratulations, Rolando. You just won 500 pesos worth of Lazada vouchers. Congratulations. Ang galing nyo naman sa game na to. Okay, so we have one more chance for you guys to win 500 pesos worth of Lazada vouchers. So let's bring out the last set of pictures. Okay. Ano to? Madali lang to. Kaya nyo yan. First one to type the answer gets the prize. Okay, mag-guess lang kayo dyan. Mag-guess lang kayo. <laughs> Ay, gusto ko yung Soho, ha? <laughs> okay, and we actually have a winner. Okay, wait. Jodre, sino yung nauna? Let's see. The first one. Okay. Okay, let's see. Let's see who the winner is. Okay, and the winner is Melanie Celebrico. Congratulations, Melanie. And let us see the answer. The answer is boom. There you go. Congratulations, Melanie. You just won 500 pesos worth of Lazada vouchers. Yeah, congratulations to our three winners. But don't worry, yung mga hindi ka nananalo, we still have more prizes to be given away later on. Okay? So stay tuned for that. Okay? So once again, congratulations to all our winners. And I hope that everyone feels refreshed and, you know, had so much fun with the game. And of course, thank you so much to everyone who joined the game. So I'm active nyo. Ganda talaga. This is such a fun event to be in. Oh, also, we all also have a very special promo happening today where those who apply during today's event will get free installation service or the what a great deal interested applicants must fill out the application form and submit requirements within seven days to avail of free installation promo so you guys must be part of the registration database to qualify now, for viewers who are interested to apply for Converge Internet, we will also be discussing more details later sa ating breakout session. So please express your intent to apply and ask your queries to our Converge representatives in the breakout session. And also a reminder that we have a feedback form that we encourage everyone to answer after the program. Now, the one with the winning feedback gets to win 1,000 worth of EGCs, all right? So stay tuned because we still have 10,000 total worth of PGC to give away later on. Kaya abangan nyo yan. And also, don't forget that we are on Facebook. Don't forget to like and follow our Facebook page that is Converge for SME for some business tips and updates. And again, I'd like to remind everyone present in the Zoom to please rename yourselves in the Zoom to your registered full names so we can recognize you. And if you need any assistance with this, you may chat with any of our co-hosts in the Zoom or simply type your questions in the chat box. Alright, so now let us hear stories from our satisfied customers and how it helped, how FlexiBiz really helped boost their business. Ladies and gentlemen, 
we introduce to you, Yampas Bread. So my name is Bianca, Bianca Cortez, and I am part of a family business which is called Biancas. <laughs> We're a bakery in Delhi as more of an online business. Uh, we've been around since 2016 and have been um, uh, doing the business since to both customers, direct customers and retailers. But pandemic happened, uh, it's been two years and well, praise God we're able to still uh, keep afloat in our business because we have done a lot of steps so that we are very much accessible online. Quite a few people would ask us, oh, how can I get your bread or can I, is there a way that I can have my bread tomorrow and stuff like that. So we all had to learn how to navigate around what people want and what we, what we are capable of also. Because we're still a small business, but thanks really to technology, it was a lot easier to uh, coordinate a lot of things from ordering your supplies online, from um, coordinating with the customer on what they want, delivering it through all the third-party couriers that are all online also. So um, all these uh, different um, opportunities, you really just have to find a way to make it all work for you because you know it, it's there. For us, it's very important that we have good internet, especially when we do the bookings also for our customers because when we deliver to them, we have to make sure that um, we do it correctly <laughs> and we do it on time and um, we'll be able to uh, do the multiple bookings properly also because if we can be very efficient in doing this, it also helps us with our operational costs and uh, also makes our customers happy because we're able to provide to them the service that they want in the best way we can. so much Yanka Spread and I'm sure marami sa inyo ang may questions for all the information presented to you today. That is why we are now going to proceed with our Q&A session. So you may type in your questions in our chat box so if you have any queries, now is the time to do so. And for this segment, we will have our speaker Neil answer your queries. Let us welcome back on screen, Sir Neil. Hi, Sir Neil. How are you doing today? Hi, guys. Good afternoon. <laughs> all good, all good. How about you, Addy? Um, I'm, I'm really good, too. I really enjoyed your talk. I learned so much. And of course, we want to know so much more about what you talked about earlier. All right. So let's start with our first question. Uh, does mobile optimization affect SEO? <laughs> I see. Actually, so bring good the question and, and that's something uh hindi ko siya nasama sa presentation. Especially nowadays that people are on always on their phones, um making or creating your website to be mobile first optimized is highly recommended. Una nilang gamitin yung phones nila over their laptops or over their so optimizing your websites for mobile first optimization really is uh, recommended and advisable. All right, thank you so much for answering that question, Sir Neil. So we have another question. Um, reliable po ba yung mga free SEO score checker online? Yeah, actually, uh, personally, isa ako sa mga uh, gumagamit ng free SEO score checker from time to time since there are certain clients who cannot afford yung mga paid tools. So, for those who wants to use yung mga free SEO checker, uh, e me message ko na lang din yung uh, yung website that you can search for if you want to uh, to check your SEO score for free. Okay, so there are certain websites that are free that are reliable, and there are also some that are not. So it's really up to us to the, to really figure out which ones are the most reliable. Yeah. Ones. Okay, all right. So we have another question. 
pwede po bang DIY muna ang SEO for small businesses? Because of course, di ba, wala naman kaming budget ng small business tayo. So, pwede po ba yun? And gagana pa rin ba yun? Uh, okay. Hi, hi, Sir Neil. Okay, Sir Neil, I'll just yeah. read the question. Um, so the question is, um, DIY for small businesses. Kasi di ba, wala naman tayo masyadong... Pwede pa rin naman gawing DIY si SEO, especially when you're a start or when you're a small business. But uh, siguro to manage a... Siguro habang pinag-aaralan mo siya, tapos ginagawa mo siya, yung magiging achievements mo compared to someone who's going... Yeah. Mm -hmm. Siguro kailangan lang i-manage yung expectations when mag-DIY. Kasi iba yung makukuha nating results, pero kailangan natin manage Okay, so what you're saying is, it's very possible na i-DIY yung SEO, but of course... Iba talaga yung magiging result na makukuha mo. Tama ba? Yeah. Okay. And we also have another question. Um, ano yung basic na pwedeng gawin to help our business na maging mas searchable kung wala pang budget for hiring experts? All right. Uh, this is something na ano, uh, pag lagi kong nire-recommend to, lagi akong binabash ng ibang mga tao kasi sort of pandaraya siya in a way, in a sense, or parang hack. Uh, one thing that you could do is create a Google uh, Google Map or Google Business Listing on Google. Tapos, but for example, if you are a restaurant, ilagay nyo lang dun kung ano yung keyword na gusto nyo. So for example, uh, if you are a restaurant based in Makati, yun yung ilalagay yung keyword. So for example, uh, this is something that I did sa personal name ko. So when every every time someone searches for social media marketing or social media manager in Kalamba or Laguna, my name pops up. Na kahit wala akong personal website, lumalabas yung listing ko on Google Maps. So that's something na pwede nyo gawin for those na wala pa kayong budget. Pwede nyo siyang dayain by using Google Maps. Wow, that's a really good tip, Sir Neil. Thank you so much. And of course, we we also have we have more questions for you. So, paano gumawa ng Google account for my company para makita yung reports about my SEO score? Actually, for that naman, you don't actually need to create a Google account or any accounts naman to check your SEO score. Unless uh, very detailed yung gusto nyo for you guys to create a Google Analytics account. Then from there, dun yun na kailangan gumawa ng Google account. Pero if you just have to check your SEO score, you can use the website yung SEO Optimer. Thank you so much for that. Okay, so we have another question for you. Ano po yung best offer ni Converge na internet package para mas maayos namin magawa yung SEO and may effect ba yun sa ating SEO? Yeah, honestly, any ano naman, any offering ni, ni Converge would be fitting. Kasi at the end of the day, kailangan natin ng reliable internet, um, internet provider. So if hindi mabilis yung internet connection natin, hindi mabilis yung internet provider natin, uh, us as business owners or pag nag-outsource tayo ng uh, agencies or ng freelancers, how can they do their jobs well kung hindi din okay yung internet connection nila? So yeah, any any packages naman from Converge is really advisable and recommended. Okay, all right. And of course, we have one last question. This one is actually from Sir Blue. He's asking... What is the easiest way to start using SEO? So yung pinakamadali, yung kaya ka. Mm. Easiest way to start using SEO is to search for... <laughs> yung kakayanin siguro lahat is 
to align yung website nyo as in to fix your website yun na yung pinaka pinaka easiest way kasi at the end of the day kung mabagal magload yung website nyo people would exit your website and go to another uh, or go to another website na mas mabilis magload so the faster the website would load the easier for it to be navigated mas ma- mabilis makikita ng tao yung hinahanap nila better for you kasi mako-close mo kagad siya as a lead Yes, that makes sense. I actually remember you mentioning that earlier in your talk that really the experience, the user experience is also very, very important. All right? So that is our last question for you, Sir Neil. That wraps up our q and For Sir Neil, if you have any last words to say to our guests today, feel free. Uh, sure thing. Uh, when it comes to digital marketing in general, be it search engine optimization, social media marketing, or email marketing, uh, you might feel that pressure na baka kasi, oh, yung competitors nyo, ito na yung ginagawa, tapos kayo, uh, hindi nyo pa na nare-reach kung ano man yung ginagawa nila. Do not compare yourself or do not compare your business over them because at the end of the day, digital marketing in general is not a race. It's a marathon na kailangan yung pag-practice over and over again for you guys na mahuli nyo kung ano yung kilite and strategy that would work for your business. Wow, what really great advice, Sir Neil. Parang life advice na rin yung binagay niyo sa amin. Oh, may pahabol po kaming question, Sir Neil, kung okay lang. Uh, so the question is, um, yeah, sure. FB Marketplace may SEO ba? Okay, for Facebook Marketplace, applicable si SEO when it comes to, there's this thing called local SEO kasi. Uh, yan na yung target mo yung uh, places within your demographic or within your area. So if you're trying to sell something, uh, let's say sabihin natin, nung height ng pandemic, di ba sobrang daming nagbebenta ng ube pandesal. <laughs> Tapos makikita mo na lahat ng nagtitinda ng ube pandesal within your area, target ka for some reason. Kahit pumunta ka ng marketplace, lahat ng nagtitinda ng ube pandesal within your barangay, within your city, targeted ka, nakikita ka. And that's because of geo-based marketing. So, yeah, for Facebook Marketplace, applicable pa rin si SEO. Wow, okay. Thank you so much, Sir Neil. Promise that. So thank you so much for joining us today, Sir Neil. And that wraps up our Q&A segment. So we are now going to move on to our breakout sessions. So with this, we have our facilitators to lead each breakout room. We have our representatives here who will be answering your queries today. So don't be shy. Feel free to ask questions as we put each of you in your respective breakout room. And of course, we will be having our raffle segment. So please be back here in the main room after the breakout session. So we will now invite you to your breakout rooms. Please accept the invitation that pops up on your screen. You can proceed by clicking join. And when the time is up, we will be closing the breakout room and you will automatically be brought back here to the main room. So please don't leave the meeting or you might miss out on our raffle later on. All right? If everything's clear, let's start with our breakout session. We'll see you back here after the breakout session. Feeling like the baddest bitch I've ever known Feeling even stronger than I've ever felt before Push me to the limit, now I'm in a different zone Now you're all alone, now you're all alone And I know that I was always good to see it And I fell into the games that you were playing Yeah, you were the person I'll be in But you never see me like this One little way I feel so amazing Yeah, imagine I know you're gonna hate are
indeed I cannot deny Oh, hey, I don't see something For my eyes only Can I emoji? Can I emoji? Ah, can I emoji? I'm a hands on it Show me a little bit
Thank you. 
to our main room and of course thank you so much to our dear representatives for taking the time to join us today i hope you guys learned a lot and enjoyed our breakout sessions so we have now come to the most awaited part of our program the raffle draw alam namin na excited excited kayo kaya these are the mechanics okay So first, you must be present here in the main room to qualify for the raffle. So if you see your names appear on screen, you just type in the chat box that you are here so that we can see you. And of course, sayung sayo na yung prize mo. If not, we will have to redraw and pick a new possible winner. Okay? Clear ba yung ating mechanics? Let us know in the chat box. Na clear, na clear na. Get clear na. And ready, ready na kayo mag raffle draw. Okay? Yes, there we go. Thank you so much. Christina and to Giovanni, yes, ready, ready na kayo. Napipil ko na yung excitement nyo. And of course, we want to remind everyone that your names in the Zoom should be renamed to your registered full names so we can recognize you. And if you need any assistance with this, you may chat with any of our co-hosts in the Zoom or simply type your questions in the chat box, all right? So I won't keep you guys waiting any longer. Alam ko, excited na excited na kayo. So here it is for our first raffle. We are going to be giving away 1,000 worth of Lazada GCs to four lucky winners. Wow, apat kayo mananalo nito. Laka-laka ng chances nyo. All right, so I'm sure you're all excited for this. So let us bring out our wheel of names. Ang dami-dami nating guests today. So ang dami-dami rin nating names. Okay, so let us pick four winners. The first winner is... Ayan. Let's let the wheel go. Sino yung first winner? Jacqueline T. Congratulations, Jacqueline. If you are still here, don't forget to chat in the chat box na nandito ka pa rin or else papamigay natin yung prize mo sa mga nandito, okay? So once again, to Jacqueline, let us know in the chat box if you are still here. Okay, while waiting for Jacqueline, let us pick our second winner. Let's see. Remember, pag nag-appear name nyo, mag-chat na kayo na nandito kayo para hindi namin papamigay yung prize sa iba. Congratulations to Richie Dea Dalit. Alright, congratulations to Richie. Okay, now let's see who the next winner is. So far, wala pang nag-confirm. If nandito kayo, maglagay na, lagay na kayo sa chat box na nandito kayo. Congratulations to Erwinito Loto. Erwinito! Congratulations. Erwinito, let us know if you are here. Let us know in the chat box if you are present. Okay, let's pick another possible winner. Rachel Ann Ferrer. Rachel Ann. Are you here? If you are, let us know in the chat box. Ang grabe, wala pang nagpo-confirm. Oh, tumili na naman tayo ng winner. Dapat dapat pag-confirm na winners. Okay? So, let's see who the next winner will be. The winner is Florentino Zulueta. Florentino, if you are here, let us know in the chat box. Okay, let's pick another winner hanggat may nag-confirm na nandito pa rin sila. So, let us see who is next. Next winner natin is Jose Manuel Habiles. Okay. O Jose Manuel, if you are here, let us know in the chat box. Pero wala pang nagpo-confirm. Pili ulit tayo ng winner. Okay, let's see who is our winner. And the winner is Danielle Strassi. Okay, Danielle Strassi, if you are here, let us know in the chat box. Wala pang nagpo-confirm na winner. Oh, let's see. Baka yung next winner nandito. Okay, let's see. The winner is Glenn Bartolome. Congratulations, Glenn Bartolome. If you are here, Glenn, let us know in the chat box. Okay, parang wala pa yung mga winners natin. Pili pa tayo ng mga winners. So, let's see. The winner is... Merwin Vargas. Merwin. Merwin, if you are here, let us know. Oh, it's si Daniel Stacy nandito daw. But just pa double check kung nandito. Okay, so let's pick another winner. Let's see. Sino pa? Wala. Let's see, we have to pick four winners. Congratulations to Mika Polintang. Okay. Mika, Mika Polintang. Okay, who's next? Sino ba yung next winner natin? Let's see. 
Angelica Fabrer. Angelica, congratulations if you are here. Let us know in the chat box nandito ka pa rin, okay? So while waiting for Angelica, let us pick our next winner. Yes, Angelica, nandito siya. Congratulations, Angelica. You just won. Okay, let's see who our next winner is. Yeah, so far, meron tayo may isang winner si Angelica. Okay, next, we have Gina Baclayo. Congratulations, Gina, if you are here. Let us know in the chat box that you are here. Ayan, nandiyan si Gina. Ang bilis naman ang mga chat niyo. Congratulations, Gina. Okay, dalawa na lang. Team winner. Ay, judges. Judges, pwede ko ba i-confirm na si Daniel Strassi winner rin po? Strassi. Congratulations to Je Jacqueline Paron. Sana, Jessilyn Paron. Sana tama yung pag-pronounce ko. Okay. Pili pa tayo. Pili pa tayo. Our next winner is... Sherwin Mendoza! Congratulations, Sherwin! Pag nakita niyo yung name niyo, sabihin niyo sa atin sa chat box na nandito kayo. Ah, okay. Okay. So, sorry. Pakonfirm mo lang sino yung ating apat na winners. So, we have Gina. We, we have Daniel, Gina, Angelica. Okay, so yun natin yung mag-confirm. Si Sherwin nandyan! Yes, congratulations to all our... Each of you have won 1,000 Lazada GCs. Each you are excited to learn. Congratulations to all our winners. And of course, next up, we will be giving away our grand prize, which is 5,000 worth of SM Gift Pass GC. Wow, ang dami na ito ah. 5,000 worth will go to one lucky winner. Okay, so sino kaya mananalo na ito? Let's break out our wheel. Alright, let's do it! Who will win? If you see your name, chat ka kagad. So, congratulations to Luisa Pos! Luisa, are you here? Luisa is here! Congratulations! You just won 5,000 words of gift certificates. Oh my God, congratulations! Ang dami-dami mo ng pang-shopping. Congratulations to you. And of course, congratulations to all our raffle winners. A Converge representative will be sending you an email within 24 hours to give you details on how you can claim your prizes. Alright, so once again, to all our winners, congratulations and please wait for our email. We will be emailing you within 24 hours to let you know how you can claim your prize. And of course, diba kanina sinabi ko na 10,000 worth of prizes yung papamigay natin today. So the winner of the last 1,000 worth of Lazada GCs is the one with with the most winning feedback form, okay? So we encourage everyone to answer the feedback form right after this event. We would really love to get to know everyone's feedback and insights. So please don't forget to answer the feedback form. All you have to do is to scan the QR code that is flashing on screen. And this is also because our team will be screening all of your feedbacks and you will receive an email from our conference representative after the show if you are the winner of this feedback form giveaway. Okay, so don't forget to fill out the feedback form and gawin nyo namang malaman-laman para manalo kayo, alright? Okay, that was such a jam-packed program, am I right? I hope you guys all enjoyed today's event as much as I have. And don't forget, we also have a very special promo for everyone here today where those who apply during today's event will get free installation service. O ba? What a great deal! Interested applicants must fill out the application form and submit requirements within seven days to avail of the free installation promo. So you guys must be part of the registration database to apply. Now for viewers who are interested to apply for Converge Internet, we will also be discussing more details later. Um, we we've actually already discussed details, all right? And don't forget, you can also like and follow our Facebook page that's Converge for SME for more business updates, okay? 
So there you go. We have now come to the end part of our program. And as we have all learned today, as times change, more and more avenues for us to expand our businesses will continue to arise, which is why it's so important to innovate and provide new ways to stay connected. One thing that will never change, however, is our need for steady connection. And with Converge, we could help you maintain constant communication with your audience, continuous creation and consumption of content, while providing you immediate support for your needs. Thank you again for joining us today here at Converge Let's Talk Flexi Business. Again, my name is Adia Amor and it was my honor hosting this event with all of you. Thank you so much for joining us. We hope you had fun and we hope you all have a great day. Bye!